Good morning everyone, my name is Miss Vars, if you don't already know, welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video we are going to be doing a day in the life vlog as per so for today it's a very busy day very very busy and this is genuinely genuinely a typical day in my life at university it's always i have my degree but then i have all the other stuff on top that's going on so it kind of makes my schedule very hectic so for today right now mission number one is to eat cereal mission number two is to finish um reading over my essay it's written it's done i just need to reread it for errors then i need to give a tour to some students who are coming up from I forgot I don't know where they're coming from but they want like a private tour and they want to apply for the foundation year next year so I'm gonna give them like a half an hour tour and answer any questions that they might have let's go find them and see what they're saying morning I'll give you guys a tour too because really this is basically your chance to have to have made my room, no? I feel like you guys are going to end up knowing exactly how to get to my room and how to get out because I film it so much. So, okay. there's the famous building. There's our quad. That's the library there. But you, you basically, I'm going to give you guys a tour. And these are the grounds. I'm excited to meet these students. I think they want to apply for the foundation year in the end. So. Okay, so basically I'm back. I gave the girls a tour. I just didn't feel comfortable to like vlog it because sometimes you have to know when there's a moment to vlog or not. And if I'm there to like help the students, why am I now vlogging it like this? Now I'm printing off my uh, essay. I'm going to print off two copies because I like to have a copy of my work. Print. So I'm now printing off my essay so I can go... So I can go and give it to my tutor. I'm now walking to go and give in the essay. Because you literally have to give in a physical copy. <sighs> Oxford. But um, yeah, I'm going to start playing some music for myself and for you. And you can just look at the beautiful view. Okay. Bye. <laughs> has got to be by far my favorite why I hear you ask because right there is the Natural History Museum and obviously it's a historian and it's got the Pitts Rivers Museum in there as well I've taken my mum and she loves it it's in there then right across the street there is Keeble College right there that you can see and it's so pretty and just the overall like aesthetic of this walk is so lovely so I don't know if he wants me to like actually physically hand it to him but I'm just gonna put it in his pigeonhole so I've handed in the bloody essay so now I don't know what to do I have 4 55 minutes should I get lunch and then no just go back to college okay so now I'm gonna go back to college and I've handed it in but he doesn't even know that I've handed it in so now I'm gonna email him to make sure he knows because that's quite annoying that I hand it in and you don't know that I've handed it in so I've literally just had dinner I've literally just had dinner 
like as in I just had dinner dinner lunch I just had lunch <laughs> I've just had lunch and I'm like literally so tired but <clears throat> I've committed to things now um I have the chowel coming to interview me in approximately 10 minutes to show them an insight of what I do so I mean I am excited Okay, so now that we've had lunch and now that we've handed in the essay, we've given the tour to the students and it's still only 2pm, it's time to now go and have the interview. Now, I don't know where these people are, where their Canberra crew is, but let's go find them. They said 2 o'clock, I'm leaving my room at 2 or 5. Why? Because a queen is never late. Everyone is simply too early. And also, I like to create suspense. <laughs> By far, the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. So I'm walking along. Yeah, I'm late. Why am I late? Because I don't want to be on time. I'm going to go find the people. Keep them waiting. A queen is never late. Or talking rubbish like I always do. Then the person opens the door. Like they were literally there. <laughs> and they heard me talk mortified I'm mortified oh embarrassing okay it's happened it's fine and we're gonna have an interview and they're gonna film me filming myself for you guys which is gonna be quite unique and cool and then after that I might have a dinner which would be quite nice and then um, sleep so yeah I'm gonna edit this video for you guys so it can come out tomorrow morning and then after that it's time to study study buddies woo, 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 woo. and then I've got to call my sister as well so I'm gonna study then call my sister and then go to bed so hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel I am running a little bit late so I'm currently desperately trying to tie my shoes while like talking to you <coughs> But basically today's um, video is another vlog, another day in the life vlog and we are basically going to go to a sex and gender class. Then after that I have a free break, well I'm in an hour and I'm going to try and write my essay in that hour so I'll find a cute little cafe, Costa, and then we can go write my... Um, essay well the start to my essay then I have a class straight after that and then I can go back to my lecture and then after that I will run back to LMH write up the essay hopefully I'd have had some reading time write up my essay and then get back and then at five o'clock go to the radio station need two minutes to spare I have to take an apple because you always have to have breakfast but this is really not the kind of breakfast that I even imagined. I'll have it. I'll have it an actimel as well. Cheek little actimel. Good morning, everybody. Today is a glorious day. It is Tuesday. Like I keep saying, I do feel like a bit of a koala bear in a little koala wala jacket. Like I said I have an essay due today. I'm gonna try and hand it in by 4 p.m. So. I have a lecture at 9 a.m. for sex and gender, then have a break, then have another lecture. Okay, so I'm here and it's only nine minutes past three, so I don't think I'm late because they normally start them at 9.05 just in case people are late. So we're going to be going inside all the bicycles. I hope it's in here. This is it. Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. I am so sorry that I once again forgot to vlog and also my battery did die. I'm back in college and now I'm about to leave to go and do BBC Radio. So excited, so excited. Um, it just feels like things are getting better and better. I don't know how I got so lucky with my dream like job at this age and I get to really 
just do what I love, you know. But yeah, I'm going off to BBC Radio. So I'm excited. And I just can't hide it. We're on our way to go and film the first episode of me being on the show with BBC. And um, in case you want to know what I'm wearing, this is my outfit. It's just all black jeans, black boots, black top, and a cute jumper. But guys, look at how beautiful Lady Margaret Hall looks today. They finally cut the grass, which I hated. I hated how big and wild it was, but look at it. Like, welcome to Lady Margaret Hall. Wow, so pretty. I just feel so lucky. And the moment that I get back, it will be essay writing time, but it's fine, the deadline is next week. <clears throat> so, I'm on top of it. It's just so bloody beautiful and you know if I tell you guys how I really feel about this BBC thing man I couldn't tell you if I tried I just feel excited I feel lucky I feel like finally people are recognizing my talents and I feel principal lives there. Hi Alan. Do you see do you guys notice how different I am outside? Like I'm literally whispering. <laughs> um okay I'm gonna go because it's awkward and I don't wanna vlog outside. by my new panel of guests today so please introduce yourselves so hi my name is miss vaz but you can call me v i am a second year student studying classical archaeology and ancient history here at the university of oxford that sounds really tough <laughs> <laughs> i mean i studied radio i mean that's that's a mouthful so. yeah no it, it is difficult but i enjoy it so i think that's what makes it easier and better is that when you have a passion for your subject no matter how difficult it may be, no matter how many 5 a.m.s you have in the library, because you love your subject, you keep doing it and you keep going and yeah. the results are awesome. It's all about the positivity and exactly. also joining me. Yeah. Mm. I, what do you think of Oxford for its night out? I think, uh, like, during my foundation year, I hated it. <laughs> During my first year, I kind of liked it, and now I think, I don't know if I'm growing to like it, I think it's an Maybe acquired taste, as you may say, because at first, like, coming from Birmingham... Yeah, Birmingham's got great taste. Yeah, taxi. then coming to Oxford, I was just like, oh, the music was very different, yeah. even what we wear here was different, mm. whereas at home, it's like an occasion, you dress up, eyelashes, high heels, dress... Here, it's like, you might as well wear... Like, I'm club ready, I'm overdressed right now for the club, <laughs> yeah. and that, that blows my mind, so... It's yeah. so hard, but I... Well, Guys, we've just so wrapped good. up. It was so cool. <laughs> was Met the wonderful <laughs> Roy. Oh. Where have you gone? Hey. Here we go. Fleur, oh, who was running the interview. And Galia, who took <laughs> lots of pics and she was listening as well. Yes, <laughs> she's behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, oh. but it's so cool. And I can't wait to like, come back. Hey. Oh. Hey! hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. See you this later. This is so cool. Right. I loved it. Right. Thank you both so much. 
Hey guys, so I am now back home. BBC was amazing. Um, I'm gonna basically edit a video, do schoolwork, eat, and go to bed. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna um, write my essay up because I've had more than enough time to write that thing. So I wanna have that essay written before I go to bed, which I think is doable. And then, um, yeah, basically eat. I've ordered food, which is on its way. So I'm gonna edit now while I'm waiting for the food, then edit while I'm eating, and then after that, essay writing time and I'm not gonna let myself go to bed until it's done so that should be done by like midnight at least or one um, then yeah that's it but yeah BBC was amazing the only thing I'm not happy about is obviously that it's not paid but at the same time I understand that I need to humble myself and realize the opportunities I've had at such an early stage in my media career and be grateful so and who knows what opportunities this could bring so yeah, count you my blessings. Very happy, very lucky, very blessed. And yeah, I'm gonna call it a night and do what I just told you that I'm gonna do. So that's the end of the vlog and night.